Who's the second half of the 32? Uh, oh, it's the second of the 32, okay. There's two shifts. So this is the second shift of the bottom 32. Brian Fall drops nine already. Five pin left up, that's the kingpin. So this is the second shift of the first round. He missed it left. 72% chance on single pins for Pro Bowl of Rob Wood. Stats by Canelton Bowling Network. Find a spare. He's up to a fast start against Brian Fuller Jr. Brian with the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. Last match, Jason Sparks, 118.98 over Sean Bernard. And right now, that's just on a spare. Brian Fuller Jr. goes right. One, two, eight behind the two pin, ten to right, one piece of wood. JT on the bonus, on the nose, seven. Tough split with six, ten right, seven left. 17 through one, up seven right now. One string, head to head knockout. Four, a nice shot, won't go. Ball circles around the two. He knocks the wood into the gutter. And the ball decides to stay in play. And that will have to be removed. It stays on the plane. By Camelton Rule. What a try by JT. Almost. What a try. Thought he had it. Future Hall of Fame Bob Wickham going down to clear that ball in lane 34. Live coverage all week, Wi-Fi pending. We'll record every match just in case the stream goes down. We'll get later that night on Candlepin Bowling Network. Please subscribe free on YouTube again to Candlepin Bowling Network. Fuller cleans up for 10, 20 through 2. This one string head dead knockout. JT at 10, 27, 20, up 2. Of seven right now, up through two boxes. Head to head, one string. If they tie, a full one string roll off. This would be very encouraging for Justin Line. He's going around 110, 112. It's really improved this game greatly. And it's just getting better and better. Ryan on the nose. Two pins left, hold up. One goes down, one stands up. The two to the left, the six to the right. JT goes left. Got to break the one, three, six. Three pinners without wood. Go 51% of the time. Stats again provided by Kenneth Bowling Network. Pull up for a spare. Got it. Nice shot. Two tens in a spare. 30 in the ball through three. One string knockout. JT to try to keep pace. He got it. Nice shot. Thought it might go right. But it hung in there, right in the pocket. 37 in the ball through three. We're going to show the scores more often here. It's a one string knockout round. Four goes left. Steals eight. One to six on the spare. 38 through three. JT, 11 drop. My golf. Kim puts the cancer. 38 through 3. We're tied. Box to box. Bowl is open now. But that could be a deflator for Justin Lyon, ace, the young bowler. That can rally us sometimes. So we can bounce back. Has the 2 8 and the 7 to the left. Bowler to 10. 48 through 4. Three tens in a spare 8. And JT missed a 7 now. 45. Now JT all of a sudden has gone from a 7 pin lead to a 3 pin deficit. Brian Fuller Jr. is a tough out. Brian is a class act on off the lanes. 48-45. Again, one string knockout round. The winner goes to the round of 16. Full ahead pin. 2-4 left, 6-10 to the right. JT trying to bounce back. Goes to the left. He's got the hay bale to pack a five. He's converted about 31% of the time. The pro bowl is out wood. Fuller, what a try. Sliced and diced it. Couldn't get to the 6 and 10. JT leads up the 1 and the 10. 
So Brian will keep the lead halfway through this one swing and catch. And Brian, another 10. Four tens and a spare eight. 58 half. For JT with an eight. 53 half. That, that lemon drop spare fell derailed him. And despite two marks to one, this is why pinning is important, folks, at bowling. JT with two marks to one. But Brian Fuller Jr. has to lead. 58-53. Five marks to go as they switch lanes. JT, nice ball of nine. Really can use this mark for his confidence. Brian's had monster strings all year round. Nice smooth ball, goes right, that's the one, two, four, and the six, ten on the right. 72% chance for Pro Bowls that would on single pins. Stats by Kenneth Boy Nerrick. He missed it. Fuller misses it too. JT is down. Chuck DeRoge that match. And there's the Paul Grand Special. Missed the second, make the third. Not a good time for that. 63 through 6. Fuller, nice out for an 8. 66 through 6. Four blocks to go. It's a three pin lead for Brian Fuller Jr. 66 63. JT has a shot still. When it goes to the round of 16. Fine ace goes right, just three. He leaves two marks, more than likely. Four goes right. He has the Clary. One, two, four, seven to nine. Hand to the Bob Clary. JT, this will be something. Got the head pin. Won't go. Good try. It's a seven to nine. Pull a good wood to help. Looks good. Off the wall. Got it. Spare the seven. 76 in the ball. Trying to pull away. After early seven pin deficit, JT and nine, 72 through seven. Better than Brian Ford. It's time to bowl like Brian Ford Jr. here. He's up four right now, plus this bonus one. JT, cross him over. Tough lead for the half was right, three nine, the seven. Good piece of wood though. Fuller, cross him over, seven, make it eight. Three and a six. 84 through seven. It's up 12, head to head. JT, good try, won't go. Pull up another spare, no. Two is left open, still for JT. 10, 82 through eight, two bucks to go. Four, 10, 94 through eight, 12 pin lead. JT needs two marks. So that's strong. Two spares, but that lemon drop one on the mark killed him. Two marks, please. But Brian got two spare eights in his. JT, nice ball! 7 oh, 10 split. Gotta be kidding me. He just converts somehow to avoid double strike territory. Ryan in the pocket, nine. Great piece of wood in front of the eight. Taylor made spare lead. JT needs this. Won't get to the 10. Four, spare. And that should do it. One of four in the ball in the ninth. Nothing doing there. Nine, 91 through nine. Triple strikes the only way he has a chance. And that may not be enough. Alright, full of pulling away here late in the string. JT, nice ball. He's a strike, won't go. That'll officially do it. Brian Fuller Jr. advances the round of 16. JT with the 4 10 split. Fuller on a spare. Nice ball. Bang! Strike on spare. 114 through 9. 124 plus 2 in the 10. Four marks in the string. Two eight fills and a ten fill. JT the ten, 101. A good learning experience for Justin Lionates. Yeah. 
Justin's limited. Another good bowler, young ball on the rise. Mark Richard doing a great job at Riverwalk Lanes. Ace for Ness, coaching him up. Fuller on the strike. First ball has the one and the corner triangle for four, seven, eight. He's in the 130 mark, and he cleans up for a 10. 40 in the last two, a 134. Wins at 134 to 101. Brian Fuller Jr. goes to the round of 16. We'll keep it here live as we wait for the bowls to finish up. 